looks like maybe I've got autofocus back on. Let me let me check my video. Off of these. I took that off. Okay, that's the one that comes on the laptop. It's not the one I want. Properties. Okay, now where are we where are we where are we here? Configure video. Oh, that autofocus is back on there. That's the one I want. Okay. There we go. That's better. I don't know why it changed that. It shouldn't have done. What are we going to do? Move ourselves a little over there. There we go. Well, that's pretty good. I could go a little higher, maybe. <laughs> I guess I'm just in a putzing around mood today. All right, there we go. Now we'll get this. Uh, my head's cut off as well. Yeah, we're going to fix that. There we are. Just prepare a, prepare a canvas here. Two of those. These are just to kind of hold it in place while I do the, the main taping, the main taping of the canvas. Let's see, a little off on that one. Does that one still got enough to tape? Yes, it does. So much of poor painting is in the preparation. Get the actual pouring done in about you know two minutes. There's a lot of preparation that goes in, <laughs> into those two minutes, those uh, stellar two minutes that you're actually pouring. Let's see, that one went over a little bit. As usual, I haven't put my gloves on yet because then the masking tape sticks to the gloves. It makes it harder. Kind of thinking as I go because I've got a number of ways I can do this next painting for what I want to do with this painting and I'm just trying to decide which would be the best way of going about it. Have in mind I'd like to do something kind of autumn. Lately it's been the first the first signs of autumn are upon us. I go by as the leaves are falling. Those first few leaves coming down and go, okay, boy, fall is in the air. I'm going to try to melt one today. I did, I've been out a while. I did some cleaning up. Yesterday I caught up on some varnishing. So I could bring a number of the paintings inside. I have this nice drying rack set up and, uh, you know, it's good to give the paintings as much time as they can before you varnish them, but it gets to a point where you, you want to bring them in. This one's being a bit stubborn. Let's see if we can find the rest of that and see if I can coax that in here. I think I might 
school. Let's do a reverse stick on this one. The reason is, is it always looks so pretty. When I have it down here, this underneath thing, a lot of times it just looks gorgeous. I think, why does my canvas look as pretty as my thing that's under my canvas? So I was thinking I might try and recreate that even. Okay. There we go. We've got little feet. Oh, just bang the camera. Well, it seems to be okay, though. You can still basically see what I'm doing. First, I was thinking I'd swipe, but now I'm thinking I want to try something a little different. Oops, wrong thing there. Got to read them funny here we go. And as usual, this paint is non toxic, however, it is very, very messy. Let me go back and look at what I was going to look at there. Lovely. Okay, now. I'm thinking, a little off. I'm thinking I might try a. Uh, oh, I see why. Wait, one of these, one of these things is just right in there all the way. So I can get it a little more. Might be better. I'm not sure. I'm going to do that. I'm going to save this here. I think I might use this. What I'm thinking is I can use this to do the rever a reverse dip sort of thing. I just thought of this, so I didn't prepare it for it. But let's, let's think seriously about this because it happens all the time that I'm painting and I've got that underneath thing and the paint drips onto the underneath thing and then I'm going, oh my God, that's so beautiful. <laughs> so there should be a way I can get that onto my canvas and then um, the, the place I get the paint from is running a sale so I've been of course acting like I'm even debating if I'm going to get more paint but of course I am so uh, no reason to hold back then so I think what we might do is do that and even just drag it maybe just drag it on this I'm going to see if I can, like I said, create what I do. So I think first, I'm thinking I might do some flip cups first. I might try that anyway, just for fun. You know, I do like my flip cups. Okay, so I want to do that. Again. I've been saving some other cups because they're kind of big for a flip cup. They're more like a, what they call it. Actually, a ribbon pour would work, too, I think, for what I have in mind. If we did a ribbon pour, we'd only need to use one cup. But let's try it. Let's try the ribbon pour. Let me put that back. I was thinking, you know, I realized I used the yogurt cups, big yogurt cups, um, for like water containers. And I thought, you know, even the small yogurt cups, I could use those as a pour. So I threw them in a dishwasher and they go through the dishwasher fine. So score. I think we want to do, I'm going to try this real quick on here too. Let's see. As you guys know, all I want to do lately is paint for us. So I don't know. <laughs> I hope sometimes somebody actually wants to buy one because I have a lot of forests now. That's not a sales pitch for you guys. You're, you're just my pals that visit with me. But for the people that where, where I am trying to sell them, I hope sometime they, they end up selling. Let's put a little of this in. I'm just going to layer this cup. I think with a lot of autumn colors. Finally had an extra one of these for uh, for this orange. And then after my painting session, I'm gonna go right in and order more paint because that's the mood I'm in. 
I'm going to move the more and more paint. Lots and lots and lots of paint. Can't have too much paint. Can do a little of this too. Oh, that's that teal. Is that what I meant to do? Well, it's what I did now. And I like all metallic gold. I'm going to do There's a little purple in there too. A little purple. Just a little purple. Next. Just maybe no pink. I want pink in my autumn scene. Anything else sort of goes. Do that. Yeah, maybe a little more red. Some orange. A little more orange. Oh, I haven't used any of this. I'm going to use some of that too. Do that next. Oh, got so excited, I started to spill that. Do that. Uh, do green next to it. No, that'll make brown. Let's put. Yeah, I'll put a little drop of yellow next to it. That's fine. That's oh, a little more. I put any of this green in it? Oh yeah. I think it did. I have to do a little green in there. I didn't put any of this green in because I got confused between what was this and what was teal. Some gold maybe again. Okay, now I'm gonna put all this paint away <laughs> because once I start wanting to swipe and manipulate the paint, then it gets very hard if it's all sort of in my way. So I'm gonna move it off. Okay, and then this I'm going to do what's called a ribbon pour. I'm going to put a little black in there. I didn't put any black in, did I? Any black? I'll put a little black in. Got that nice dark green. It's probably good enough. But. Okay, ribbon pour, true, true to its name, you do like a ribbon. I'm going to start off with that, and then I'm going to do some other stuff. get a glimpse of what cut. Wait again, doesn't that look beautiful in the cup? Alright, now I haven't actually seen anybody do this and there's probably a reason why they don't. Um, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to lay this on here and I'm just going to pull it. Get the colors on. Allow me to stand up. Actually, I might want to come more this way, huh? I'm not sure I've got enough paint on there to pull this off, so to speak. Let me see what happens if I just pull it. I hope I don't end up with paint all over my chair. Oh, it's pulling off too much of the paint. Let me just lift it instead. That pulled off too much. Didn't do quite what I wanted near the top there. Boy, that, again, though, that's beautiful. So let's see if we can uh, put this back on there. Let me just try and press on it a little bit more. You know, even though it's a mess, it's quite an autumn looking mess, isn't it? Boy, I wish I had room to lay this flat. That looks, see, this looks really gorgeous on this side. I wonder if I could get that back on there somehow. What I'd like to do, let's see if I can just quickly move this. Is there a spot? Ah, there's a spot I can even grab it on. Okay, let me put this here. 
And don't let me sit down on that because that would be unfortunate. But again, okay, so this is the thing I was, <laughs> I was pulling with and look how perfect that is. It even, it's even got the trees on it. I don't know. I don't know why I can do it on here and not on the canvas where it belongs, but there we are. So actually, you know what I might do? I'm just gonna lay this down there and I'm just gonna lay that canvas right on in there and we're gonna see what happens. You guys know, you guys know how I just love my experiments. I, ju I just can't help it. I mean, I could just follow the tutorials, but you know, it's just not my nature. All right, let's see if we did that. I'm going to put that back down there. We'll see. We can just put more paint on here, too. If we don't have enough paint, we don't have enough paint. So what I'd like to do at this point, I think, is scrape some of this paint off of here. It's just staying on there. Enough. You know, though, I don't mind this. I, I really don't. It's got some really good qualities to it. Let's see if we can just get a little bit more paint off the off the sheet and onto the canvas. Didn't come out as well as the sheet, the backing sheet, unfortunately. But other than that, I'm wondering if I can just pour some back in here. That's turning a little muddy, so we may not want to do that. We want to start over again. And get some more paint of those colors. But you know, I, I think I'll do that. Oh, what I could do is wrap some rocks in that. That's what I could do with that. And then try not to worry too much about that at the moment. Let's worry more about this. About what's going on with this canvas? Because I know it probably doesn't look like anything to you guys, but it actually looks a little bit close to what I want. I just have to think about it a little bit more, maybe add a little bit more paint to it. Maybe do some swiping. Do that. I'm not going to go grab all that paint. That's right there. I kind of love the feeling when I feel like I've got it on the run. Like, okay, it's getting close. It's not exact, but it's getting there. I don't think I'll do any greens this in this in this little batch here. I think I'll stick with that. Let me see. I'm thinking I might want to pour it. If I pour it into a second cup, do I get a little bit more of that look to it as opposed to pouring it directly on there? Oh, let me think. Other thing we can do is swipe. We could put it more down and then press on it again. Gosh, that's close though. I'm kind of excited in a way because it's so close to what I had in mind. Oh, you know, this is still manipulatable. Let me just, uh, before we deal with that paint, let me just see what paint's on here. Oh, that's actually quite lovely. But I probably need a little bit more paint to get me through. I might be able to do some swipes or something to that. It's exciting when these things do anything like what I want them to. I'm always so excited. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. It actually isn't totally not what I wanted. <laughs> but, you know, that's part of learning something new is uh, you don't start out a, a master of a technique normally, unless you're a, a prodigy. Normally you have to work with it a bit. Now, it's like I said, I almost want to pour it into something else. Because if I pour it on here, it's going to be kind of, what would be the word? I can, I can press on it in little amounts. We'll try that. Let's fill it in where we need paint. And then we'll worry about it. Just fill it a little on the side, and then maybe I'll try a little bit of the pressing where, where we need paint. We'll do a little of the pressing and see if we can get some paint on where we need it. Onwards and upwards. Okay. I don't really want to use that again, I don't think. 
Well, I could do. Hold on. I wonder if I could just use the other side of this for pressing on it. Probably could. If I fold it in half. <laughs> It's so frustrating you now how much closer this is to what I wanted. And then I think I'll just try pressing on it in places, and then I'm going to try tilting it. The pressing on it's just to sort of move the paint, make the paint a little bit more um, blended in. And spread out to some extent. I must say, I know this is probably a... A terrible technique, you know, technically speaking. But, uh, you know, I'm all about whatever gets the job done. I know it doesn't, it doesn't even look that nice, me doing this, but like I said, if it gets it done, it gets it done. Unfortunately, the, um, actually, again, I'm not minding that at all. Let's do that a bit more. Wherever the paint's very light, I'm trying to fill it in a little bit more. And I'm hoping I can tilt it. Okay, now it's starting to muddy up a bit, so let's stop doing that. I can't get over how beautiful that looked on the on the saran wrap. It was like it was like the exact landscape in my head, but it was on the saran wrap instead of on the um, on the canvas. <laughs> uh, it's like some cruel joke of fate, you know. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, at least I ended up somewhere. <laughs> it ended up somewhere with the painting I wanted. It just wasn't a permanent uh, permanent thing, as many things are not. Try and just wherever I see where I have a little bit of bald spot in the canvas, I'm going to try and work that out a little bit. I also don't like drips. I don't like things to look like they're dripping. I've gotten to where I don't like it on anything after doing poor painting. I was looking at some pottery. I was like, no, it's got things that look like drips on it. No, I don't like anything that looks like a drip. Almost like a balloon painting, only with my glove. There's something in there. Let me get that out of there. There we go. It's getting a little gooey there. This paint, um, this is Primal Flow, and it's uh, it tends to be a kind of gooey the consistency. It's something you really have to get used to with this paint. It's nice paint though. I don't mind it. It's just a little gooey. <laughs> okay, now. I think I'm going to turn it this way. Okay, there we go. Alright, and I'm going to just... Uh, hands off a bit before we do anything else. There's some more paint left in there. There's a little paint left in there. Not much. But there's a little. Just like to fix them a little just to pour okay on here. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't. You can do things to it, but there's just some spots here where it's just a little bit 
It's just a little thin. And I, I'm going to be putting trees in here, so that'll help me cover things that I feel are a little thin, but I'd still like it a little more worked out than that. I have to kind of mix it in there a little bit man manually, I think. I can't think how else to do it, really. Oh, that actually works out kind of nice. Put pretty rid of some of that mud. Little blank spot. Okay, do you feel like all the blank spots are covered? They do. Got a little bit of drips here, which as you know I'm not a fan of, so let's undrip them. Through. I'm just gonna try and oops, I'm gonna try and not put my hand in the paint. That would make for a nice change, wouldn't it? I'm oh, gonna try this a little bit this way. I'm gonna try to. I don't think it's got much left to do in there. Yeah, it doesn't have much left to do in here. Okay, I like it. I like the colors. Believe it or not. I know, I know to the untrained eye it looks like a big mess. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Every now and then I've got a problem with my stream and I don't realize it. And uh, one of my friends will text me and go, you know, you know, this or that's going on with your stream. And I'm like, no, thank you. I had no idea that that was going on with my stream. Now, for this, I think I'll get a different, I'm going to take a cup, I think. And I'm going to try we, something we, we did once and I haven't done it since. And that's these string trees. So I'm going to try that again. Let's make sure. I want to make sure that I've got enough to go top to bottom. Yep, that should do me. Oh, now, actually, I think I want two. I want to do maybe one dark one and one light one or just light. Let's do just light for this round. And then I'll probably come back in and want to do a darker shadow. Let's put that in there. Let's get that filled with paint this spring. I kind of want to look at this a little bit and see if there's places like here where the paint's a little thinner. I'm going to put the trees in there. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is that the paint will adhere better. Where it's thinner, it's going to adhere a little better. And the other thing is it'll fill in those spots a little more. Let's try just, oh boy, I got that way too, way too fat up there. I'll have to fix that. I don't know where, what, what went on there. All right, we'll fix it later. That is not quite getting the look I want. And here, I'm going to do something about that. That really, uh, that really did not do what it was supposed to do at all. Actually, that was now it's working pretty well. I still need to do something about that. That's just way too much paint up near that top. Probably need to put a little more paint in there. Let's, ah, now I've got to fix that. I'll figure out a way of fixing that problem. Let's put a little bit more paint. Fortunately, I have more paint, so let's just put some right along in there where I kind of goofed it up. Where to, <laughs> where to not to put too fine a point on it, I goofed it up. Okay, now, do we have any other spots? I think that would be okay. Let's sort of give that a little bit of a little bit of gravity there. 
Fortane is so interesting that way. You use gravity and the, uh, the paint itself is kind of creating with you. It's fascinating. Actually, there is a little spot over there that's a little bit bald. There we go. Actually, I'm just going to do that this way. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is that worked okay, but it just didn't have quite enough color to it. So let me just add a few more of these in here. And we'll see what we can do. Where's that thin spot? Right there. Go right up through that. Let's put a little bit more where we put these down. Try that. And I think I will try the string again on this. That's probably enough of them. But I think if it has the. What I like about the string is too, I don't have to do them straight up and down. Where I do if it's a swiper or something. sort of swiping that color a little bit. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure this is giving me quite the effect I was hoping for. Let's not be too harsh. We can still do things with it. So we can play around with this idea a little bit more, I think. Not sure. He like said it's just not quite getting there. What I might do is Let me get a card swipe instead. Let's try that. Try that on this. Just maybe do one side and then down the other. The thing that is, I want it to pick up some of these other colors. I don't really want the tree to be a stark white. I want it to pick up a little bit of the other colors that are on here. Oh, that's nice. It sort of sticks on there, and then you can use it to make other things with it. Sometimes with pore painting, you kind of can't tell what's going on right at first because it sort of continues to morph after you do it, which can be awesome and it can be like, ah, oh. <laughs> depending on the way it does it. Not a good time for a person's nose to itch when you're poor painting. I'm just going to try this kind of all the same, and then we'll come in and look at it and see if we need to do something else. I think we'll probably want to add some darker, darker colors to this as well. It's coming up a lot of that white. That's when it took it mostly off, so we can put it back in there. They're still not, they're not really doing it for me tree wise. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's we'll add this back in there. If you will add back in there. Pour this. Okay. Well, let's take another approach then. It might be a case of that I just need to let this dry and come in the next day to. Or even within a couple hours. Sometimes, you know, this is working pretty well. It's a little slower approach, but. Let 
we could get a plastic swiper. This would be a really good technique for bamboo because you can do a could do it section by segment by segment. Let's see that totally working. This is looking a little more tree like than those first few looked. A little bit better. A bit better with this approach. Let's try it on this one. You've got to kind of dip every time, I guess. I still can't get over the way that looked on the uh, on that saran wrap. Exactly like what was in my head. If that had been on the canvas, it would have been a short painting session, but boy, I would have been happy. But, you know, onwards and upwards. We'll just keep on. Oh, looks a bit. <laughs> Might need a little bit more white in this cup. Now this, what is going on here? This one's really weird looking, isn't it? It's just morphing in a bizarre fashion. Let's see if we can unmorph that a little bit. Well, you know what might help? Maybe if we tried um, a little bit of gravity on this guy. We might do that. Okay, hold it up a little bit, see what happens. Let's come across here. You're finished coming across, then I'll try that. what we can do if we do anything with this. In other news, we had um, a pair of woodpeckers moved into our birdhouse, so that was, I was excited, as you can imagine. You know, I love my woodpeckers, absolutely love them. They were so excited. The female got all, you know, comfy in the, in the house, and the male was flying around on the outside, making sure nobody hassled her. want to do like some little we'll do like some smaller trees in the background here I'm not sure if that isn't taking off more paint than it's putting on Oh, that would probably work for a pretty, pretty big swath of it. I think that would work. To stand up to see on something like that. Let's see. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not feeling comfortable with that. All right, now we've got a white one. We'll get like a black. black paint in there. And let me grab more of those little ones. Let's try coming in the other side. We'll do some black on it. able to get that paint that's I'm kind of dragging up with me. You'd think I could do something with that. Let me just lay down the black on both sides. Use up both sides of the card maybe. And then we'll uh, mix that in a little bit more.
I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to go back and play this tape and figure out how I how I ever got that on that saran wrap as opposed to the canvas. And try that again because that was just gorgeous when I picked that up on that saran wrap. I said you can still see the trees and everything. I can't get over it. Not get over it. I'm gonna mix this back in there. I don't want it. Don't really want a black line. I want just some detail on this on these trees. Should tell my friend I have a feeling he hasn't been getting his twitch notices, and I have a feeling he did not get. Oh, it looks like the cat got out. <laughs> uh, let me let me just run out there. the cat escaped. He does that. I'm still not sure about this one. So the colors aren't quite as fiery as they were, but I still like them. I'm just not completely sold. So let's keep on. Let me just analyze this for just a second here. Because if there's something I feel I can do more to it. Well, we can try actually, we can try swiping the whole tree up there. That would be something different. And uh, get this in there more too. Or that side one. I'll do these. I'm going to do this all on the same side, shadow wise. Sorry, my cat. I'll tell you. He's an oh, dropped a little bit of glass there. An awesome cat, but man, he is a handful. Wish you always had one. Wish you always got one kid that's a handful. You somebody with a big family, there's usually one kid that's a handful. Usually the youngest one, because you know they stop there. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just gonna put a little little things here and there. Still, it's a little, it's a little too abstract, you know. I mean, I think I wanted a little smoother, surface-wise. So we might have to uh, do a little bit more work on this one, I think, before it's what I want. The background colors, though, aren't too bad. They're pretty close in there. 
the autumn. I mean, they're definitely all autumn colors. And uh, still pretty bright. Put the other one on here, I think, and then we'll come back in and mess with them a little more. black on here, I need to worry about it. Might even try a bit of that string again, just for texture. And there's one spot where I kind of hit that accidentally. Should do something like that. Then we can make it into a actually make it into a bit of a branch or something. Let's see. I'll get that card back out. It seems to work pretty well with the card if you do it that way. Just uh, one. A little bit more white, I think. Did I mix in? Oh, I didn't actually mix in that black. I just talked about doing it. Well, talking about doing it and doing it are not the same thing, are they? Let's do that real quick. A little bit more there. I don't really want to have a black line. I want to have black. Um, markings, sort of highlights, as it were, shadows, shadows, highlights, two sides of the same thing. Let's use that again for that. There's so much paint on there. Actually, that would be good for this sort of thing. And there, kind of tried to put one in there, and then it just took the paint off. So I'm just going to try and fill it in a bit. It's easier to just do that. Mark that right here. Here, when I started putting them in there, just define that a little bit more. And I try and do that. There we go. Right there.
kind of it's decidedly more like a birch tree in there. Let me put a little bit more in there. Where else do you want to do? Wanna do maybe a few more here and there? That would be more probably here. We'll put the light more on the top. And that didn't make quite as much sense. Kind of went out wider than I thought it was going to. Oh, I see why. Yeah. Because the car is bent a little bit. Yeah, I'm still not, not quite feeling it. But you know, I don't like to give up, so let's keep going. We'll keep going until my dinner's ready. Oh, hey! Boy, you should have been here earlier. It was beautiful but heartbreaking. I had a piece of, um, I used a saran wrap to put this down. I pulled up the saran wrap and it was like the exact painting I wanted, but it was on the saran wrap and not on this canvas. But at least it showed it could be done. <laughs> so now I'm struggling to try and get the same thing back again. Because, you know, I never say die. Actually, that's not true. You've seen me wipe off canvases. Oh, this might work better. I just wasn't getting the, quite the look I wanted for the trees. I think this might might work a little better. Let's see. I know. I know. You know what I remind myself of is that scene in Living with Oblivion where they get that perfect scene but the camera isn't running that's me that's me in poor painting i was saying i i, I might look back on this video though and uh analyze it and see if i can't try this again only try it to uh figure out how why it went so bright on the saran wrap and not not horrible on the canvas but just not you know that was just what I wanted to do, and this is more like, oh, it's okay, but it's not exactly what I wanted the way that was. So I might look back on it, see if I can figure it out. But in general, what I wanted to do today was kind of welcome fall. I've been seeing the, the leaves falling, and I wanted to say hey to autumn. Oh, this is exciting. Um, I, I announced this earlier, but you weren't here. A pair of woodpeckers moved into the birdhouse that I hung up. So, you know, yay. Oh, they were so beautiful. They're right right on my studio wall, actually. <laughs> right on the other side of this wall. Oh! Oh, that would have been an idea. Yeah, but see, the thing it is, is I didn't know it was going to do that. If I, But yes, if I used a second canvas, then uh, if it did come out better on one thing than the other, then at least I'd have it on the one. But I, I if I'd known, of course, but I thought I was, I thought I was doing pretty well there. I mean, you could even see the trees. The trees I initially, I mean, it was, I, I couldn't get over it. It was like, oh my God, it's it's so beautiful, but there's just nothing I can do. It's on this saran wrap. Okay, I'm going to have to move this thing. It's one thing I'm just banging into all over the place. Let me just move that over there. The knife handle was hitting the edge of my thing where I keep the, Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, you know, I love my woodpeckers. You know, I do. I, I get such a kick out of them. So all the birds for them to move in. You know, what happened was I, was I was sitting in the house and I heard that, you know, like rat a tat tat sort of noise. And I thought, gee, that sounds like a woodpecker, but it sounds like really close. So I went out and I saw one outside the birdhouse and then it went and got inside the birdhouse. I took some photos. They're on my, my uh, better camera. And uh, then I saw later, I saw that the mate, I assume that, that was a female that got in the birdhouse and the male was fluttering around outside. But it, it was pretty exciting. I think what I might do is lay some of this down directly. Let's 
see if you guys here really need them big old dose of paint let's add a little bit more paint to these and thicken them up a little bit more get a little more of the pure white on there they're just a little bit stingy i think for the the size canvas i think they need to be a little bit more prominent the trees that's my theory and i'm going to stick right to that we'll just put more white on all of them what the heck only paint we're having a sale on this paint so i'm probably going to go get a bunch more with all I've been wasting lately, I, now I need it. Why is it wherever I put something, I bang my <laughs> knife into it? Got a few little specks of white that got away from me too. I'm going to have to go back in there, fix those. I wonder if I can just pull that up there. Today's probably the last day I can pour um, in the afternoon for a while. They, uh, it's supposed to get very hot again here um, for the next couple weeks. So I'm going to try and get out in the morning and do my pouring then. that again yep so just a guys those little cardboard things don't have big long handles on them like a knife does I like what that's doing there let's see you know, I think that is getting a little bit better. Maybe it's the whatever it is, the desperation talking, but I think it is getting a little better. I have to come back in with the uh, with a highlighting thing tomorrow or something. I don't know how how bright this white's going to stay. Come back in with that black too. And I uh, got a little bit more of the highlighting. This one here. Can I finish that one there? Smooth that out along here. Right here. I dropped that white. Let me see if I can do anything with that. Just poke that out of there a little bit. That one's a little close to the thing. Here we go. It's a fairly forgiving background, really. Makes me do all sorts of crazy things to it. 
Let's see if I can just add a little bit of the interest here and there. So the paint got a little thinner. What did I notice that? Oh, it's there. Should save some of this in case I, <laughs> I drop any other paint where it didn't belong. Yeah, Steve was really surprised that they were here this early. He didn't think we'd have birds in there till much later in the in the year. <sighs> now let me see here. One thing we're going to need is a whole lot of little branches and things, I think, coming up here. I think I'll try and get some, there's some eye-like things in here, but I'm going to do a little bit more with that, I think. I think that who must be stealing my suet uh, feeder must be the raccoon. So it's the only thing I can think of that would be big enough to, to carry that off. But I don't like, the first time they did it, they just took the suet feeder down, but it was on the ground. But now they've gotten to where they take it off to their lair, never to be seen again. But it's probably they're dropping it in one of the neighbor's yards, and they're coming out going, where are these mysterious free suet feeders coming from? It's very strange. Put up a little lost and found or something. Has anyone, has anyone seen my suet feeders? I'll just sort of blend these in a little bit, I think. This would have a slightly different effect than what it does, so I'm just sort of blending them in a little bit more. I think they're a little harsher looking than what I had in mind. It might have gone a little bit away from me. Let's see if we can put that paint back on there. I took it off, might as well put it back on. Oh, hey! How are you, Lace Rock? I haven't heard from you in ages. I'm trying to, this painting isn't quite doing what I want, but I'm going to keep playing around with it till I feel like, I, till I either give up or it is what I want. It can, either, either of those two things are fine with me. I'm just going to put a line down there. Let me just stand up there. Get a card. I think I'll get a card for a minute instead of that. I had all these. These are just the um, the cardboard. 
This is a new one I just started today. So I don't know if you mean the same one, same one from the last time you were here, then no. But lately I've just been on a forest kick, so I probably was doing a forest, just a different one. This is this is my welcome autumn forest picture. Because <laughs> it's getting to be that time of year. Today had that chill. Of course, after today, it goes back into the 90s um, for the next couple weeks. But today, it even had that little fall chill. It was just wonderful. Put that a little bit better in there. I think this width of trees a little better. I think at first they were just a little bit uh, spindly for the size canvas, the, the foreground trees. I think that's what was not looking quite as good, quite as right to me as it looks now. This paint's so weird. And yet, you know, I'm going to go right in there and order a bunch more. It's weird but compelling, <laughs> this paint. I can get a little line of black going on there, then I'm going to try and blend it in there. Oh, you know what we could do is maybe if we get this done, we could put some foliage on top of it. That might work. That might work. Just come in here. So for the next however, however long, I'm going to try and get out in the morning to do the pouring. And in the afternoon, I'll try and reserve for non-pour paintings, the traditional paintings, since it's going to be too hot to do pouring in the afternoons. Fortunately, out here in Oregon, it doesn't get hot till much later in the day. So your mornings, even on a hot day, it has to be really, really hot before the mornings are affected. So I should be able to still pour in the morning at least. a little better, a little more like what I like. This, one, this one's pretty good still, I think. Maybe just a little bit more of this dark on this side. Thicken it up a little bit. Let's see. Let me just stand up and look at it from a distance. That's getting a little better. It is. I, I have to say, it's getting a little better. Not perfect yet, but a little better. The only thing is, these trees all seem sort of the same width to me, and I think I'd like to make one a little bit. They're not exactly the same width. But let's see if we can. Well, first of all, let's try and just put in some branches. We'll do that first. Then we'll see what else it needs. And where's that? I have that white one. I have that one too. Let's do some white in that one. That one's a little thicker, but we'll just stick with this. This is fine. All right, 
now? Do I need another? I probably need another one of these. So since I just cut these off, so when you get the canvas, it's got like a big cardboard thing that says what it is. So I just cut the I cut that up. And then I can use them for swipers and just throw them away because they were just trash anyway. So it's kind of, so it's kind of nice. Yeah. This one I'm going to have to cut up a little bit more so it fits in my cup. Cut that a little bit more even. And this, it's got a little bit that came off there anyway, so let me just turn that into a great big branch. So I thought we'd just welcome fall in here today and see what we could do. Make it feel like fall. Works okay too, I guess. And let's see this. There's a background tree in here, but it needs a little bit of work, I think. Now that the paint's setting a little more, there's some things I could do that I couldn't do when the paint was really gooey or gooier. Is that I'm not sure I'm not sure what I was thinking there. So it did something a little funky. That's okay. Funky's all right on occasion. Can get by with a little bit of funk, I guess. Let's see now. We've got that. We've got that. What are the things do we want to do here? What we could do is maybe a smaller tree. Let's do that too. Let's uh, fix this here. This one got away from me. Let's kind of fix that. I think it might suffer a bit, and I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think it might suffer a bit from having too much mid-tone, um, not enough darks in the background, but we'll see after it dries if it, how it's looking. See if we can, boy, this is thick. How thick we want to do these things. I must have had a lot of dried paint on here or something. Used to be a little little tiny pointed stick. Now it's just things that <laughs> glob right on there. Anyway, what I'd like to do is do like a little tree, maybe right in here, like a little smaller tree that sort of just comes around like this. I think. Bit, I'm, I'm going to draw it in here, and then probably have to go back in and add actually the paint to it. But that's okay. Let me do that just so I can kind of kind of get some guidelines of what I want to do. Oh yeah, I think that'll help. I think that will help. Help that a bit. See if we can drop some paint in, into it. This part's fairly fairly getting dry there, so we should be able to add paint to it without much distortion. It's the wetter paint that tends to distort a lot more. I don't know hard to get it to, uh, to move, though. I want something thinner than this. This is just, I said, so coming out a little chunky. But that might be the way the paint is and stuff as much as anything. 
I didn't really want to use a card because I want to be able to do a little bit more wavy lines. Let me think. If I tried that, let me try this one. Let's see if I can follow the lines here with that. I'm not a big knife person. The knife, the knife and I are not that close. But let me see if I can make it do something. Now, see, that's too thick. That's not going to be what I want. I've got to make this thicker because that's the way it is now. Now I've got to make it make sense, you know. I could just pour some other paint over it and over that section, but that's okay. It can be a little thicker than what I had in mind originally. That's not a big deal. to kind of, like I said, just more scratch through rather than lay paint down, which is a little bit disconcerting. It's not too bad. And then it's kind of closing. If it's wet enough, it'll kind of close in on itself. So that, that would be okay. And leave just that little white bit to kind of close in with the paint. That can happen. Let me try one of the mandala tools. Sometimes these work really well. Not always, but sometimes. Let's see if that's going to be our, our friend for today. Yeah, not really. It's kind of doing the same thing. I think it has to do with the nature of this paint. Yeah, I don't know why. I, re I like it anyway, even though I seem to, you know, struggle with it a little bit. I think, though, what we probably want to do is give this a little bit of shadowing or something on here. I'll be generous. We've done all the shadowing on this side, so let's stick with that. Give it a little, so it's not just one, one white line in there. Let's try and give it a little bit of color or depth. Not too bad. Not exactly what I want. Don't want to leave this is kind of not like that, maybe. That worked a little better. Just way too bow it. Too close. Then it got oh, then it got way too thick. So let's see if we can fix that. Oh, I'm not sure how. I think we can move it back. Oh shoot, not really. Um, let me see what I want to do there to fix that. Well, this would be a good spot if I want to do some little uh, drop in some leaves or something. But let's keep going for now. I'll worry about that later. What I want to know is if I want to do like little branches, how can I possibly do that with this paint? It's just sort of losing it. I can't really drag it that far before it just sort of scratches in. Only it's a little thicker. Mm -hmm. Well, so far I guess the card has been the best, the best tool I've had. Let's keep on with that then, I suppose. But I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a, like a wiggly sort of branch, you know. I think I can do that if I just got on the corner, if that would work. Let's try it. Some sort of problem. Come back on there. I don't 
I can put them down here and then sort of do something with them after, maybe. Let's see if we can try and at that point sort of do stuff with them. That's not too bad. I mean, it's still basically straight, but not quite as straight as it looked. That's okay. At least it added something to it. It's a little hard to work with, just a little bit goofier than what I would have liked. At least for these fine details. I might have to come back in, with, like I said, with the regular acrylics. Might not be able to quite do what I want with this one. With just these, uh, just these paints. Like I always say, my goal is to get the best painting and the closest to what I want. Not to worry too much about the process. I like that little tree. That was a good call. I don't want to do any more of those in there. Let's put one in here. Put something else over in there in the background. Yeah, I think what I want to do. Now let me think. I have something very definite I want to do with this. <laughs> and I want to figure out how I can do it on it. Uh, I almost want to apply it with something. But what? Oh, I wonder if I could do a piece of bubble wrap. Let me try that. Oh, or even just a saran wrap again. I don't think we'll use that. That little piece here. Let's wrap or saran wrap. Either way. This doesn't look like this piece would be good for too much, though. Let me cut off a little bit. Try wadding this up. Let's see what happens if we just dab that on there. Does that look like foliage? I'm not sure it's quite doing what I want. It's not terrible though. I'm gonna do kind of multiple dabs with it. I'll get it anywhere, but yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, this part that I messed up over here. Let's do that. It's sort of like traditional paint. You kind of look for where you need to fix it up here. What I wanted to do, but up here. That's a little bit there too. Hoping this will put in some of these brighter colors back in here. I'm not sure too though. Like I said I'm not sure if we don't need a little bit more of the dark rather than just the light in here in this particular painting. Not too sure about that. But let's think about it for a minute because that's a little harder because the dark would be in the background, so it's a little harder to put it back in now. I drop, put a drop on there, then it's going to be foliage. 
I think that helps a little bit. Try to get a bigger, bigger piece of plastic. I might add, add some orange in here. Now this is fairly thin. I need some really thicker bits. Yeah. I wanted it to be add a little brightness to it. I got a little murkier. I'll just add it right on there. Let's see, where, where would I like to put a little bright orange? Just to test it out. Different place this sand looks a little muddy. Let's put some there. Standing up again from a distance. You know, it's it's a lot better than it was, I'm gonna say. Not not as good as that looked on the saran wrap. But we can but we can't worry about that too much. But I can go back and look at that and see if I can figure out how to reproduce that. I'm just mixing this in a little bit more. It's not so much globs just laying on there. Of course, it probably mix in as it dries anyway. All right, I might leave this one as is. Let it dry and then see what I want to do to it um, after it dries. Oh, that looks so weird. I don't even lost all track of time here. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to take another look at this and see if there's anything else I want to add to it. I said I think it might it might suffer a bit that this is too bright back here. And it's not, it wasn't dark enough to carry off these birch trees. If that's the case, we'll worry about it tomorrow. What I might do is try and glaze a darker color in the background there. If that proves to be the case after it dries. But uh, let, let's... Let's let it have a go at drying, see what that does for it. And I'm going to review that tape and see if there's anything I can do to try and get that effect that I got on the saran wrap, but reverse it to where it's on the canvas and the saran wrap has the part that isn't as good. Uh, all right, let's let this one go. At least I did, I did get to commune with, with Autumn. That's a lot of what I feel when I paint as I you know, I'm communing a bit with my subject matter, and I wanted to welcome fall, and I think we did that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hopefully I'll be back tomorrow morning. As I said, it's going to be too hot to pour in the afternoon, and I'm going to think more about how I want to do this, uh, this autumn scene. I might take another run at it. So anyway, um, thank you all for joining me, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.